Living to a ripe old age is something many of us aspire to do. We can then sit in a rocking chair and reveal to a news reporter the secret to a long, happy, and healthy life. <laughs> From a man who shared the secret to longevity before his death to the last woman born in America in the 1800s, here are 20 oldest humans to ever live. Number 20. Chitetsu Watanabe It wasn't very often that you would see 112-year-old Chitetsu Watanabe without a smile on his face. Before he died, the oldest man in the world breaks the silence before his death and reveals his secret. And that secret was smiling. Chitetsu said he believed smiling was what let him live so long, so it probably wasn't surprising that he accepted a certificate from Guinness World Records with a massive grin on his face. That certificate was for being the world's oldest man. Chitetsu died at age 112 in February 2020, but no cause was given. I'm gonna take a stab in the dark here and say a contributing factor was old age. Apparently, he had not been able to eat and had developed a fever and difficulty breathing before his death. He was survived by five five children, his 12 grandchildren, 16 great-grandchildren, and even a great-great-grandchild. Chitetsu was born in 1907 and worked in Taiwan for nearly 20 years before returning to northern Japan. Here, he worked for the prefectural government until he retired. In his spare time, he liked crafting bonsai trees, growing fruit and vegetables, and eating cream puffs. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Luo Mijen. Genesis 6-3 in the Bible says, My spirit shall not strive with man forever, because he also is flesh. Nevertheless, his days shall be 120 years. It's open to interpretation, but many people believe this means no one will live longer than 120 years. So what about Luo Mijen, who supposedly lived until she was 127? Luo was a claimant for the world's oldest person, but her bid wasn't accepted because Guangxi in South China didn't have reliable birth records at the time. If she really was as old as she said she was, she would have been born in 1885 and lived for 127 years before dying in 2013. The Gerontological Society of China confirmed she was the oldest person living in China, but it's just not something the Guinness World Records can accept without a valid birth certificate. In saying that, Bama County, where Luo was from, is well known for the longevity of its residents. There are over 30 people living past the age of 110 for every 100,000 people. Luo worked as a farmer and housewife her entire life and was illiterate. Her family described her as stubborn with a strong character, but nice. She had five children, and if she was as old as she said she was, that would mean her youngest was born when she was 61. Number 18. Gertrude Weaver Gertrude Weaver was 116 and 276 days when she died, and said the secret to her longevity was trusting in the Lord, loving everybody, hard work, and kindness. Gertrude was born in Lafayette County in 1898 and had four children, one of which was still alive at age 93 when she died. When the oldest living person, Misao Okawa, died on April 1, 2015, Gertrude became the oldest living person in the world until she died four days later. To say Gertrude was a strong, vibrant woman is an understatement. She was able to live in her own home until she was 104 and had to move to a health and rehabilitation center after breaking her hip. However, once she had recovered, she was able to move home and receive help from her granddaughter. She didn't have to return to the health center until she was 109, and her health didn't really start declining until she was 115. Even then, she was still partaking in nursing home activities and leaving her room for meals. She didn't drink or smoke and had no chronic health issues that people of similar age generally suffered from. She died from pneumonia at the Silver Oaks Health and Rehabilitation Center in 2015 and was the fourth to last surviving person born in the 1800s. Number 17. Jean Calment 
Sure, the secret to a healthy and happy life is good habits like eating well and exercising, but John Calment from France did none of that and still lived until she was 122 years and 164 days old. John Calment was at one time the oldest human and lived from February 1875 until August 1997. By age 111, she was also the oldest person in France. She smoked, drank, ate fried and spicy foods, and ate about 2.2 pounds of chocolate each week. Yet when John died, she was in good health and died of unspecified causes. She had no neurological diseases, no depressive symptoms, no incontinence or issues sleeping, no anomalies with internal organs, and her blood samples were all within normal range. Jean had a few health issues like being nearly blind and deaf, but she remained as sharp as a tack and still moved around with a cane with relative ease. You could almost say that she was fit as a fiddle given her age. When she was admitted to a nursing home at age 109, she started a pretty ritualized daily routine. She awoke at 6.45 a.m. every morning and started her day with a prayer at her window where she would thank God for the beautiful day just starting and for being alive. She also often asked about her longevity and why she was the only one alive in her family. Then she would sit in an armchair and wear a stereo headset while doing gymnastics with her arms and legs. Nurses said she could move her arms and legs much faster than residents three decades younger than her. Number 16. Li Ching Yuan Li Ching Yuan was either a liar or stumbled across some kind of magic that allowed him to live for about 250 years. Li Ching Yuan was apparently born in either 1736 or 1677 and lived until 1933 in Sichuan in the Republic of China. Of course, this seems unlikely and genealogists say it's a myth. But what an intriguing thought. Li was a Chinese herbalist and martial artist who lived on a diet of herbs and rice wine. He was skilled in Qigong, kind of like martial arts, and sold herbs for a living. At age 72, he supposedly joined the army in 1749 as a martial arts teacher and tactical advisor. After having previously served as a tactical and topography advisor in the army of General Yu Shangqi at age 51. Li died in 1933, and we have no idea how old he actually was. Should have cut him open and counted the rings. But going by what he said, he would have been 250 years old at least. He was survived by his 24th wife, who had been with him for apparently 60 years, along with over 200 descendants over 11 generations and 23 other wives. Number 15. Sarah Noss. Sarah Noss was the oldest person in the United States and the second oldest fully documented person. She was born in 1880 and lived in Pennsylvania. Sarah died at 119 years and 97 days on December 30th, 1999. She and her husband Abraham only had one child, Catherine, who was born in 1903 and died at age 101 in 2005. Her husband had previously passed at 86 years old in 1965. Sarah died of natural causes after spending the last nine years of her life at a nursing home in Allentown, Pennsylvania. Nursing home staff described her as a friendly woman, and one even said she was the friendliest person she had met among all the home's residents. Although, she had a pretty eventful life, which would have helped her become the well-rounded person that she was. Her husband was a prominent Lehigh Valley Republican leader, and she would have gotten to meet people from all walks of life. When she died, she had arranged to have her major organs donated to Harvard Medical School to form part of a study on slowing down the aging process and preventing diseases like Alzheimer's. She was the oldest person to participate in the study. Number 14. Nabi Tajima Nabi Tajima from Kikaijima in Kagoshima, Japan, had a massive pile of certificates to put on her fridge before her death in April 2018. Nabi was born on August 4th in 1990 and was 117 years and 260 days when she died. She was the oldest validated person in the world before her death and was the fifth oldest person validated by the Gerontology Research Group. After another person died in Tokyo in 2015, she also became the oldest person in Japan and then the oldest in the world after Violet Brown died in 2017. <laughs> 
Nabi also held the title as the last validated person born in 1990 and the last validated person born in the 19th century. Nabi was really breaking records, and her family was probably quite proud of her. By the time she died, she had nine children, 28 grandchildren, 58 great grandchildren, 64 great great grandchildren, and an astounding 14 great 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 grandchildren. I'd imagine trying to remember all those birthdays. Nabi was born in Araki and spent much of her later life in Kakai in the prefecture of Kagoshima. She died of natural causes in Japan on April 21st in 2018. Number 13. Marie Louise Mayer. Marie Louise Mayer, who was born in 1880 and died in 1998, lived an exciting life. She managed to pack a lot into her 117 years and 230 days before eventually dying of a blood clot. Marie Louise from Canada was the oldest person in Canada, the oldest person living at the time of her death, and the oldest person born in Quebec and to die in Ontario. She was a record breaker right up until her death in Corbeil, Ontario. Marie Louise was born in Kamouraska, Quebec to fisher parents and married a fisherman from her village at age 18. They had four children, but sadly, her husband, two of her children, and both of her parents died in 1911 and 1912. After that series of tragedies, Marie-Louise moved to the rural Ontario border and only returned to the Quebec area once. She married a Franco-Ontarian woodcutter, Hector Mayor, and they had another six children. Up until the 1950s, Marie-Louise lived in a home without any hot water or electricity. She also smoked until she was well into her 90s, which clearly did nothing to impact her lifespan. Before she died, Marie Louise did reveal what she believed was the secret to a long life. She said it was hard work, love for her family, a good sense of humor, a remembrance of the good times, and faith in God and Mary. Number 12. Emma Murano Emma Murano was born at the end of 1899 and lived for 117 years and 137 days before dying in April 2017 in Italy. She was the oldest living person, the oldest verified Italian person, and the last person living verified to have been born in the 1800s. And you know what she attributes her long life to? Chocolate, a glass of homemade brandy, three raw eggs a day, cookies, and staying single. That's right, she thinks she lived longer because she didn't have a man in her life. Emma married a man in 1926 and gave birth to a child in 1937. <laughs> However, her child died at six months old. As her marriage was not a happy one, she separated from her husband the following year. To say Emma was a strong, independent woman would be putting it lightly. She worked hard in a jute factory, then worked in a kitchen at a boarding school in Verbania until she retired at age 75. In 2011, President Giorgio Napolitano awarded her the Knight of the Order of Merit of the Italian Republic. Up until her 115th birthday, Emma was still living at home and died at home in Verbania two years later. Number 11. Susanna Mushat Jones. Susanna Mushat Jones was, at one time, the world's oldest person before her death in New York at the ripe old age of 116. She revealed her secret to longevity as positive energy, clean living, and plenty of sleep. Before her death, she had been in and out of the hospital with an illness for about 10 days before dying in her sleep, according to her niece, Dr. Lavilla Watson. According to Guinness World Records senior consultant for gerontology, Robert Young, Susanna was the last American born in the 1800s. She was also recognized as the oldest recorded living person after 116-year-old Geraldine Talley died in Detroit. It's the famous bacon. Susanna moved to New York in 1923 and worked as a child care provider and live-in housekeeper. Even though she only earned 50 bucks a week, she was determined to put the first-born girl in her family through college, and she did just that. She also single-handedly made sure her first three nieces all went to college. Susanna was the oldest of 10 children and had 100 nieces and nephews. It's a good thing she didn't promise to pay for all of their tuition or she would have been broke. She didn't drink or smoke and lived a life surrounded by family and happiness. Number 10. Sodi Medjo. Births only started being recorded in Indonesia in 1900, and many mistakes were made even long after they became a requirement. So Sode Mejo may have been as old as he claimed to be, 146 years old, but he also may not have been. 
His papers state that he was born in December 1870, and officials said his documents were valid. He died on May 1st, 2017, which would make him 146 in his village in central Java. Sodi Mejo, known to many as Mba Goto or Grandpa Goto, had been experiencing ill health before his death. He was admitted to the hospital but insisted on returning less than a week later. He only ate small spoonfuls of porridge upon his return home and then refused to eat and drink. If you follow Hospice Nurse Julie on TikTok, or ask any hospice nurse, you can learn that refusing food and drink is a natural part of the dying process. It's not a lack of food and water that causes you to start dying, but it's the dying process that causes you to stop drinking and eating. Before his death, Mba Goto said the secret to his longevity was patience. He also said he had a long life because he had people who loved him to look after him. By the end of his life, he had outlived four wives, all of his children, and ten siblings. That's a lot of loss. Number 9. Misao Okawa Misao Okawa once held the title of being the world's oldest living person and the world's oldest living woman. When she died in Osaka, the city she was born in, she was 117 years old. Misao had been living in a nursing home at that point and had three children, four grandchildren, and six great-grandchildren. She received her title of the oldest living person in 2013 before her death two years later in 2015 and said that 117 years didn't really seem like a long time. Like many people who have lived to a ripe old age, Misao believes she has a few secrets to longevity, and she was kind enough to share them. She believes getting eight hours of sleep per night helped her to live as long as she did, along with eating her favorite food, sushi. Misao also enjoyed eating vinegar steamed rice with mackerel. She first married her husband Yukio in 1919, and they lived happily in Kobe. When he died in 1931, she moved back to Osaka. Throughout her lifetime, she saw three centuries, four emperors in Japan, 20 US presidents, and six British monarchs. The Guinness World Record editor-in-chief, Craig Glenn, Day said Misao's longevity is a testament to the Japanese lifestyle. Number 8. Violet Brown Violet Brown from Trelawney, British Jamaica was born in 1900 and lived until 2017, dying at the ripe old age of 117 years and 189 days. She was the oldest verified living person for five months and the fourth oldest person in history at the time she died. Violet was also one of the last two living people to be born in 1900 and was born in Jamaica when it was still part of the British Empire. Violet was born to John Mossy and Elizabeth Riley and was one of four children. She had six children herself, and four of them were still alive at the time of her death. Her oldest had died at age 97 and was the oldest person with a living parent. In an interview with the Jamaica Observer, Violet said she was healthier than her five remaining children and didn't have any ailments. She believed there was no secret formula to her long life and said she ate everything except pork and chicken. Violet died on September 15th in 2017 at a hospital in Montego Bay. She had been diagnosed with an irregular heartbeat and dehydration the week before. Number 7. Maria Capovilla Maria Capovilla led a very privileged life. She lived among the upper-class elite in Ecuador and attended art classes and social functions. She married a military officer in 1917, and they had five children together. At the time of her passing, three of her children were still alive, and she was living with her oldest daughter and son-in-law. Maria was 116 years old and 347 days when she died, and was recognized as the oldest living person in the world and the last remaining documented person born in the 1880s. She was born on September 14th, 1889, and passed away on August 27th, 2006. At the time of her death, she was survived by three children, 11 grandchildren, 20 great-grandchildren, and two great-great-grandchildren. Maria nearly died long before her 116th birthday. She became ill at age 100 and was given her last rites. However, since then, she has had no major health concerns. She was in good health and could read the paper, walk without a stick, and watch TV in the year before her death. However, she declined in early 2006 and stopped reading the newspaper, talking, and walking. She ended up dying of pneumonia. Number 6. Kane Tanaka 
Kane Tanaka was born on January 2nd, 1903, which, as of December 2021, put her at nearly 119 years old. And guess what? She's still alive. Jane is the oldest living person in the world, with her age verified by the Gerontology Research Group. She's also only the third person ever to be validated as reaching the age of 118. Kane was born prematurely in Wajiro, a village that now forms part of the city of Fukuoka. She was one of eight or nine children and married her cousin Hideo Tanaka in 1922. They didn't meet before their wedding, but went on to have four children and adopted a fifth. Unfortunately, their oldest daughter died not long after she was born, and their second daughter died at age one. Their adopted daughter also died at age 23, and their son was captured by Soviets during the war, but was later released. During this time, Kane worked in her family store selling noodles and rice cakes, and she worked in the store until she retired at age 63. Little did she know, she would spend almost as much time retired as she did working. Kane's husband died after 71 years of marriage, and she started experiencing health problems although she didn't let them hold her back. She underwent cataract surgery at age 90 and survived colon cancer at age 103. Kane believes her longevity comes down to her faith in God. In 2021, she was the oldest person to get vaccinated for COVID-19 and was supposed to carry the Olympic torch for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics relay before COVID-19 made it too dangerous for her. Number 5. Hester Ford Hester Ford was, at one time, the oldest living person in the United States. She was born in 1905 and died on April 17th, 2021, at age 115 and 245 days. Hester was born in South Carolina, where she worked on a farm planting and picking cotton. She also plowed fields and cut wood. She married John Ford in 1921 at 15 years old, and they had 12 children. John died in 1963 at age 57. After moving to North Carolina, Hester worked for over two decades as a nanny and spent her free time volunteering at a local church. She was a devout Christian and believed her longevity was due to her faith in God and thanking him for everything he had given her. Her failing health meant she could no longer attend church, but she still watched televised services. And even though she had dementia, she was able to remember Bible verses. Even on her 112th birthday, she easily recited the 23rd Psalm. Hester has so many descendants that it's hard to keep count, but it's believed she has up to 68 grandchildren, 120 great-grandchildren, and 126 great-great-grandchildren, although various sources have reported different numbers. Hester died in Charlotte, North Carolina. Number 4. Lucille Randon so many of the oldest people in the world have now passed on, but Lucille Randon isn't on that list. Lucille, a nun from France, is the world's second oldest verified living person at 117 years old. She was born on February 11, 1904. Even more impressive is that she's now the oldest known person to have been infected with and recovered from COVID-19. Lucille grew up in a non-religious family but converted to Catholicism at age 18 and worked as a governess. She joined the Catholic charitable order known as the Daughters of Charity in 1944 and became known as Sister Andre, a name she chose to honor her deceased brother. When she turned 115, she received a blessed rosary and a personal letter from Pope Francis. Lucille moved into a retirement home in 2009 in Toulon, France and became the oldest living person in France in 2017. On January 16th, 2021, Lucille tested positive for COVID-19 after the virus broke out at her retirement home. Just seven of the 88 residents didn't catch COVID-19, and she received her diagnosis just days before she turned 117. Fortunately, she didn't experience any symptoms and made a full recovery. Number 3. Francisca Celsa dos Santos Francisca Celsa dos Santos was born on October 21, 1904 and died on October 5, 2021 at 116 years and 349 days old. She was so close to turning 117, but that doesn't mean she didn't gain some titles for living as long as she did. She was the third oldest validated living person in the world and the longest living South American person. She surpassed Maria Capovilla of Ecuador for this title just one day before she died. Francisca was born in Brazil and worked in household chores before becoming a merchant selling lace cloths. She married Raimundo Celso and they had six children together. 
As of 2020, three were still alive, and Raimundo died in 1979. Just before her husband died, Francisca moved in with her daughter, and she was diagnosed with a malignant tumor. Her doctors didn't expect her to survive, so her family took her out of the hospital and used home remedies to treat her. Surprisingly, she actually recovered. By 2019, Francisca was being cared for by one of her daughters and had been unable to walk since 2012. She was not very lucid before her death, but wasn't on any medication and rarely got sick. Her grandson, Dr. Luzine Montiero, monitored her health before she died of pneumonia. Number 2. Thelma Sutcliffe Thelma Sutcliffe from Omaha, Nebraska has a lot to be proud of. She is the oldest person ever documented in Nebraska and the oldest person with a validated age in the United States. She was born on October 1st, 1906 and was still going strong as of December 2021 at age 115. Thelma was born in Benson, Omaha and married Bill Sutcliffe at age 17. They didn't have any children and Bill died in the 1970s. Thelma is a survivor and not only is she fit and healthy, at 115, but she's also survived two fights with breast cancer. At age 110, it was hard to believe Thelma was as old as she was. She lived in a residential apartment in Omaha, did her own laundry, played bridge with friends, and exercised every morning. It wasn't until 2017 that she finally moved into an assisted living facility. Even though she has lost some of her hearing and sight, she's still healthy and sharp. It appears to run in the family, too, because her sister, Marie Kelso, lived until she was 160 six years old before dying in 2011. Number 1. Tekla Yunievich Tekla Yunievich from Krupsko in Austria-Hungary, now known as Ukraine, is the second oldest living person in Europe behind Lucille Randon. She's also the longest living person in Poland's history and broke records every year by the time she turned 112. Now she's 115 years old. Tekla has lived in Poland since the end of World War II. She was the oldest of three children and married her husband in 1927, who was 22 years her senior. They had two daughters, and Jan died in 1980 at age 96. After Jan's death, Tekla lived alone until she was 103 years old. It was only then that her grandson, Adam, moved in with her to help her with everyday tasks. On her 113th birthday in 2019, the Prime Minister of Poland sent her a congratulatory letter. He then visited her in person at home later that year. Just last year, Tekla also became the oldest documented person born in present-day Ukraine. I am in awe of how old these people live to be, and some of them didn't even take care of their health all that well. I guess it really can just be a game of luck, and some people get to spend more time than others thinking about the secret to a long life. Do you know someone who lived to an old age? How old are they? Or were they? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!